Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. If you guys have a Chrysler 200 or Fiat 500, uh, we'll explain guys what can cause you to have brake pedal that is hard guys, hard brake pedal. Stay with us, we'll explain what can cause hard brake pedal. We'll share probably about five reasons with you guys, but uh, one of them guys, make sure to stay until the end. One of the reasons is the most obvious and it will be 90% of the time this will be the reason why you experience hard brake pedal. Now we have the engine out of this car, this uh, engine is used on multiple Dodge, Chrysler, Fiat vehicles guys and the system is practically the same on all of them and we'll explain what can cause, okay, hard brake pedal. We have more than 100 videos on that engine alone and more than 200 videos on every car we get at the shop because our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can. So please subscribe to the channel and like the video. So let's start on it, okay and let me show you what we'll be doing here today. This is guys the engine, 2.4 multi-air engine, uh, out of... Uh, Chrysler 200 but the same on Fiat 500 as well the one with the 2.4 engine we remove the cover here okay and let me show you now guys okay when you remove your cover what we have here this is your exhaust manifold catalytic converter and right here next to it guys okay this is your uh, vacuum pump it's known as vacuum pump or brake pump guys this vacuum pump is attached to the camshaft and when the engine spins the pump spins as well and it creates vacuum that vacuum guys is the one that's responsible okay for your brake booster and the uh, uh, brakes being soft it will create vacuum for the brake booster and that way you'll get nice nice brakes guys nice feeling brake pedal if that pump fails okay that will go bad this one doesn't happen very often guys okay it could happen but it's not so so often uh, we have a video on the channel how to test one symptoms and all that so make sure to check it out it's on the channel also you want to inspect your line okay right here make sure that it's connected you have directional valves okay usually one or two of them this one has two and there is an arrow on the valve that points which way the air should go okay and uh, in that way okay it's one way only so you can test that valve by blowing on this side and if air comes out of this side it's a good valve it can go only one way if it's stuck closed that could be the reason guys why now what is guys the uh, most obvious reasons also guys your brake line a uh, booster line okay vacuum line goes to the intake manifold on the back side of the engine number one reason guys 90 percent of the time to have a hard brake paddle is a crack line you will have a holes somewhere or plastic holes and they will crack guys this car is only four years old okay and it has only 70,000 miles and already has two cracked hoses one here and one there guys check it out unbelievable right it does happen and that that guys okay that crack will happen you will get bigger and you will start leaking vacuum as you start leaking vacuum you will start experiencing harder and harder brakes until you lose your uh, vacuum guys and then you have pretty hard brake pedal so that could be guys okay that could be another reason for having a hard brake pedal also you have another line usually right here that goes to the brake booster okay you can see this is the line check to make sure it's not cracked here and check to make sure it's not cracked down there okay where it attaches to the brake booster 90 degrees okay connector so that could be two as well guys especially on the back side make sure that it's not cracked this one okay in our case i definitely feel a crack small crack right there developing it's not too bad but it's there so this is it guys now if none of that fixes the problem it's very possible that you have a bread, bad brake booster but you hope that's not the case it doesn't happen very often i'll be honest with you it's very rare but it does happen especially if it's an older higher mileage vehicle and we'll have a video on the channel to explain how to replace a brake booster so thank you guys for watching please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time